So we're here one week later and something's not right. Something is not right at all. Whatever the problem was last summer, it's continued and it looks an absolute mess. So I'm going to cover it in Jack's magic and <laughs> solve it. Is does exactly what it says on the bag and uh, produce some magic because um, God knows what's going on here. I did a test last night and I put a black bit of plastic because I'm having the house done and rob some of that plastic, put it on there exactly there overnight and uh, put some weights on it. And I come back this morning and there's no leather jackets, so I don't think it's leather jacket damage, although it does look like leather jacket damage. So, um, not quite sure which one, which way this is going to fold out, to be honest, because uh, they're not really keen to dig it up, and uh, but they're very keen to have a nice lawn, so it's, it's kind of throw everything at it now and hope we can get some growth growing, but I mean, we've had a bit of a drought, and it's, I've watered it as much as I can, and they've probably not watered it as much as they could, but... Um, yeah, it's not looking great. So I just thought I'd show you because I don't just show my best ones. I do have problems like the rest of you and it does get me down and this is a worry because what is the problem? What is the issue? It's, it's just nothing in the textbook that leads me to believe it's anything in there. Um, it all stems from last year when it dried out in, uh, in June. Well, I think they went away for the weekend and it didn't get watered and it, and it died all all around here and it just never came back and I posted some tweets out with the pictures on but um, yeah I mean that's just the sand you can see it's not like dead grass or anything uh, so the feeds kicked in, in places uh, but just not everywhere I mean it can't be a bad application because I went on really really heavy so let's get this jack's magic on well, i've already started and then i thought yeah i'll do a video and uh so yeah i don't just come out of the woodwork when uh, my lawn's looking good just to show that uh, i am human and we do have issues but hopefully we can uh, put it right over the next few weeks so keep tuned in and we'll see if uh, we can get this one back on track this could be my finest hour if i can get this one back because it is like you know the nicest garden I've got really you know with those views little pond over there you know lots of wildlife lots of birds beautiful place to be on a sunny day but not when the lawn is looking like this trouble is the customer gets used to seeing a lovely green velvet carpet outside and then when it's not happening you know you're the bad guy and uh you know, you're thinking, oh God, they're going to get rid of me, but it's not my fault. It really isn't. And here we've got rubbish water pressure. And getting water on is such a pain. So it's supposed to rain in a couple of hours. So I'm going to uh, get this on and take advantage of a free a free drink. And uh, let's hope we can get it back. All right, see you soon. Okie doke. So <clears throat> put the Jack's magic on. So let's all pray together. Dear Lord. Please make this lawn a lot better. Amen. Come on, Jack. Do us a favour. And uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. And uh, hope it looks something like. Hopefully, maybe once the seed germinates, we will uh, see some thickening out. And maybe those dead patches will like accept the new seed. And that will outgrow whatever the problem was. But hopefully the problem won't continue with the new grass um, but it'll all come out in the wash and I'll ask the customer to keep an eye out for you know, like big birds landing uh, maybe they're coming off their leather jackets but like I say at the moment I can't really see any evidence that there is any because there's no holes in the soil or anything because normally you get quite a lot of uh, it's like bird holes but it's nice from the leather jacket so I'm not putting my eggs in that basket just yet so um, We'll see how we get on with this. I did add a little bit more seed in as well, just to uh, so the birds can uh, have a bit. Now the covers are off, I have no protection from that. So uh, come on, please, please, please. See you later.
Anyway, I just thought I'd cheer us all up with an update from Charlie four weeks after top dressing and seeding. As you can see, it's a lovely deep green colour and thickening up nicely. Uh, I'm really happy with how this one's going in the last four weeks. Bit of dog uh, mess there on the right-hand side from when the dog had an operation. Um, this particular dog here won't do a wee on AstroTurf, so they just had to let it on that uh, lawn there because they couldn't take it out because it's uh, at its knee and it had an operation. So once that recovers, I think we'll be spot on.